Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Are you looking for an easy, healthy, and totally delicious recipe to make for dinner tonight? Well, I've got you covered with this amazing teriyaki eggplant tofu. So let's get started. We're going to start by pressing our tofu. So this helps it absorb more of those delicious flavors of the sauce and also helps it get nice and crispy in the air fryer. So I just wrapped it in a clean dish towel and I'm placing a heavy cast iron pan on top, but you could use books or whatever heavy object you have. Next, we're going to get started with our sauce. So to a medium saucepan, I'm adding water, tamari, rice vinegar, and some brown sugar. You can use coconut sugar or even regular organic sugar if you like. I'm also grating some ginger. This is fresh ginger and I'm going to use about a thumb size piece of it grated in there. If you don't have fresh ginger, you can always use ginger powder. I'm also adding some minced garlic and then we're going to make a slurry with some cornstarch and water. So you just wanna stir up the cornstarch until you get rid of all the lumps. And then we're going to add that to the sauce. And that just helps make a nice thick sauce. And we'll just stir that in and leave it to simmer while we cook our veggies. And just to let you guys know, this is adapted from an avant-garde vegan recipe for chicken teriyaki which is a really great recipe so I hardly changed the sauce at all because it's so good but instead of fake chicken we are going to be using eggplant and some crispy tofu so to make the crispy tofu we're going to be using an air fryer if you don't have one you could use an oven and I am just cutting up the tofu into even sized cubes you could also do triangle shapes, whatever you want. And then I just throw those into the air fryer, making sure that there is enough space around each piece of tofu so that it gets crispy on all sides. Then I'm going to be adding some tamari. This isn't actually Bragg's liquid aminos, I'm just reusing the bottle, but it was getting kind of clogged and not spraying very well. So you could just put some tamari into a dish and uh, stir your tofu around in that and then just throw it into the air fryer. So that's it We're just going to air fry those at 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. I Will be using this adorable little eggplant that I got at the farmers market for 75 cents which I think is an incredible deal because I was at Natural Grocer the other day and they had some the same size for $3.39. Oh my God. So it's definitely worth it to shop at your local farmer's market if you can. So I did peel some of the skin off of this eggplant because I don't particularly like it and then just cut it into cubes. And now I'm adding some minced garlic into some oil in a pan along with the other veggies. But I will tell you that I recently started doing a lot of oil-free cooking. I'm really trying to cut out the oil in my diet. So I did this um, sauteing the veggies in water and it worked just as well. It was just as delicious minus all the fat and calories. So if you're trying to go oil free, I do recommend that. But if you do want to use a little bit of oil, I recommend using some sesame oil because it does add a lot of flavor. I ended up using sesame seeds instead when I was doing the oil free version and that was really good too. So of course I added some mushrooms here and just giving that a good stir, letting the mushrooms and the eggplants kind of cook down a little bit before I add the rest of my veggies, which was some very colorful bell peppers. I love having a lot of color in my dishes. And just giving that a stir, I'm not gonna do the fancy flippy thingy that the avant-garde vegan does. I'm not a professional chef. And now I'm adding some Thai basil, and this is from my garden. It's so yummy. Thai basil is amazing. And some hot chili flakes. I got these at the Asian market, and they say super hot, and they really are, so I'm using this very sparingly. 
but I do like this dish to be a little bit spicy. And then I'm also squeezing a little bit of lime juice in there. And again, just giving that a little stir. Next, I'm adding my crispy tofu from the air fryer. This came out so good. I just love cooking tofu this way. Again, it's oil free and it comes out so nice and crispy and it's so easy to make. And then I'm adding that sauce to the veggies and the tofu and I'm just gonna let that cook down for another minute or two so that the tofu and veggies can absorb some of the flavors from the sauce. I also made some rice in the Instant Pot because you gotta have rice for this. And normally I would fluff it with a fork, but for some reason I was using a spoon, which I don't recommend. But here is our final dish, a nice yummy bowl of rice and eggplant teriyaki tofu, or teriyaki eggplant tofu. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, it is amazing. And there is a dish at my favorite Thai restaurant that is eggplant tofu, and this comes pretty darn close. So I highly recommend making this. Um, like I said, it's, it's really easy. It comes together really quick, and it will soon become one of your favorite recipes. So before I go, I just want to remind you that if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button and please leave me a comment. Just say hi or let me know what you thought of this video. Or if you've tried any of my recipes, let me know how it went. I would love to hear from you. For now, peace out and I will see you in the next video. Bye!